there. Hope you're doing well. I'm Tony Sanzeri. Thanks for tuning in to Sports Central. Coming up, sports writer at SI.com, Corey McCartney, joins us once again on Sports Illustrated. We begin, though, in the NFL and what is going on in week four as we approach week four. The Detroit Lions, the Buffalo Bills, they're undefeated. It's like the bizarro world in the Superman comics where the dream team, Philadelphia Eagles, are one and two and everything is backwards and uh, the opposite of what it's supposed to be. Peyton Manning's out and his replacement is older than he is? That's right. Well, for all your information about the NFL, log on to SI.com, pick up a Sports Illustrated. It'll give you all your information about the NFL. Let's bring in our guest. He is a sports writer for SI.com and Sports Illustrated, Corey McCartney. Corey, thanks for joining us on Sports Central. I appreciate it. Um, you are writing columns right now. You recently wrote one on SI.com about Denard Robinson, Michigan quarterback. Is he your front runner for the Heisman this year? No, I mean, I think, you know, I think the consensus was in the offseason, you know, and I did this, the, our Heisman setup for the magazine as well. I think everybody's kind of, still chasing Andrew Lux and Stanford. Mm -hmm. um, hasn't done anything at this point to push anybody in any other direction, but there's certainly been some compelling people, you know, some in, the, in the race as well, and I think that Bernard Robinson is definitely one of those people. Well, Corey, uh, I'm a little upset. Denard Robinson beat my San Diego State Aztecs. They're 3-0, and Michigan is. Um, are they the real deal? You know, uh, we don't know yet. I mean, we, we were kind of in the same situation with them last year. Uh, they started out really strong, but then once they kind of started to get to the meat of their schedule when they started facing all those ranked Big Ten teams, they kind of fell apart. And, you know, we kind of saw how being one-dimensional, really, with Robinson, you know, being such a force on the ground and, Struggling through the air, how it kind of you know it, it, it enabled those strong Big Ten teams to kind of load up to stop him, and they really weren't able to get much done. But um, he's shown some glimpses of being able to do some stuff in the passing game. But I I think it's still going to come down to whether or not he can do just enough to keep teams uh, you know on their heels. Right, it's still early in the season. I mean, teams are just heading into conference play this weekend, and big schools with big players are going to start to separate. What teams should we look for to really start making a run right now that may have been off the radar when the season started? Oh, off the radar. Wow. Um, you know, I think, I think when you look at, you know, Florida was a team that, you know, nobody was really, you know, expecting too much from in Will Muschamp's first year. Uh, you know, I think that you know, we've seen Rainey and Dempse have been able to, to do some things there. And, you know, they've got a, a really nice matchup, uh, you know, this week against, uh, you know, Alabama where they could really kind of start to, you know, put things in a direction where they could open some eyes. I don't know if they're really ready, but I think that they're, you know, there's a possibility there. Georgia Tech, mm -hmm. another team in the ACC, where you know, Florida State kind of fell off. Right. That was a couple losses, and Georgia Tech's really come alive under with Tevin Washington in the controls. Um, you know, right. I think West Virginia as well, uh, with in Holberson's offense, the Big East is, is wide open, and that's a team that could really seize the range there. Great, Corey McCartney, SI.com sports writer. Check him out right here. Thanks, Corey, for joining us on Sports on uh, Sports Central. SI.com. Get it on your iPad. Get it on your iPhone. Check out Corey McCartney and all of what he has to say about the world of sports. My number one in NCAA. Well, I like Stanford. Andrew Luck. I'm Tony Sanzeri. That's it for Sports Central. Thanks for joining us, and take care.